Hello and welcome to a new series here on the channel. This is uh, Mordheim City of the Damned as you can see and we're going to be playing in a PvP um, competition which is set up by Game Night in um, the Buddyhood. So it's the Buddyhood tournament and we're using the tournament um, website or app which basically schedules the matches for us. So uh, my first PvP match is going, going to be against uh, BTW Rant, uh, but first what I'm going to do is I have to play a, a PvE match to get ready. So I'm going to introduce you quickly to the Warband. Um, so the first thing we have to do is to rename the Warband. Okay, uh, ah, there we are. Okay. So the Warband is going to be Boom Town. Oh. Okay. Boom. Oh, got it wrong again. Okay, town rats. Okay, seems are from Ireland, um, and they're a famous rock group from Ireland. It just makes sense. Okay, and then um, given that that's the name of the war band, you won't be too surprised to find out that um, all of the uh, members are named. All of the members of my war band are named either after members of the group or um, names of albums or songs or anything related to the Boomtown Rats. So first we have Bob, um, who was after Bob Geldof. Okay, so he's our leader. And as you can see, um, he's got a blue cape and a blue kind of jerkin. So that's kind of my unifying theme for this um, warband is that everybody is wearing a, a blue vest. Okay, next then we have Gary who is our Poison Wind Globadier. So um, in this tournament, we're only allowed one per, um, one per warband. Um, so this is my one. And um, there was a bit of talk about maybe banning them, um, but reducing them to one, I think is gonna be um, fair enough. Now, someone might, so I don't know if anyone has, but someone might go, um, with a Globadier and then say do a undead warband with five zombies, the um, the leader there, and then two um, thralls, and then they've basically got like almost their entire warband would be immune to poison, and they could wreck some people with that. Uh, but for me, I wanted to go Skaven because I've never actually played them before, so um, it's going to be fun. Next, then we have uh, Fingers, who is our Night Runner. Then we have Jerry, who's a Black Skaven. Pete, who's the second Black Skaven. Crow, who's um, the first of our Warp Guards. Mondays, who's the second of our Warp Guards. And then Band Aid, who's the third of our Warp Guards. Bongo, who's a Vermikin. And Rat Trap, who's a Vermikin. Then we have um, five reserves as well. So we've got Clockwork, who's a reserve leader. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, Clockwork, who's our reserve hero. And then um, Vertigo, who's our reserve leader. Diamond, the reserve henchman. Smile, a reserve henchman. And then Graveyard, a reserve hero. Okay, so um, that's all of the guys. And as part of this as well, we're allowed to, to use five points of veteran in the veteran system. So I used, um, let me show you here. Okay, so I use five points. So two points went into um, Negotiator, so that gives us an extra three days to fulfill our word song request because I'm expecting to get my ass kicked regularly and it's gonna be very hard to actually move my word song shipments. Next then is uh, Renown. So that reduces the cost of hiring new warriors because, because I'm, I'm expecting to get my ass kicked, it means I'm probably gonna be hiring a lot of new warriors. So to keep the cost of that down is probably a good idea. Then we have um, Scholar, which will reduce the um, cost of training. So trying to get my guys um, trained up and um, kind of get a little bit of an advantage in that. Okay, so that's all of that. Um, now, what we, sh we shall do is we shall pick our first mission. So uh, da -da 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 -da. we're gonna go with has to be this one because it's the only one that has average wordstone. 
Okay, so hunters and prey to crush their will. We probably won't get the option objective because it is crush their will. And we're going to be in strike teams as well, which isn't great. But um, let's launch and deploy. An enemy war and just see how things go. Into small patrols, possibly to try and slip past your own warband and escape with some word stone. Aware of these patrols, you quickly dispatch your own forces in small groups to intercept them and prevent any enemies from leaving the area without a fight. Okay, as usual, um, that I always see. I don't mind if they leave without a fight and let us get all the words on. I'd be happy enough with that. Okay, now we have to deploy um, our guys. So we've got four to cart. So I think, let's think. So we're going to have um, three groups. So two groups should have two heroes and a henchman. And then this group here should have one henchman and three or one hero and three henchmen. So you can go there. Um, you can't go there. You need to be in one of the other groups. Okay. And then you can go there. You can go there. And you can go there. Okay. Then you there. Bongo there is fine. Uh, actually, no. Now you're going to have to go into this group because I made a mistake. Okay. Um, you can go there though. And Jerry can go there. Okay. So this group is a bit stronger than it should have been. Now let's get rid of that log. Okay. There we go. Right. So um, let's have a look at where all of the words on it. So it's kind of scattered about the place. Uh, so we've got some there. And where are my other guys? So those guys are down there. Um, so it looks like the fighting is probably going to happen. Um, around this central area here because they're going to have a group there and then they're going to have groups in between my guys they're probably going to have a group over here as well so it makes sense for these guys to maybe wake their way over this way and around that way okay so if he can do that that's what he's going to do so let's go through here okay so we've seen someone already okay so um we're against oh what's the name of them uh, mercenaries okay so we don't particularly want to stand out in the open against them so what we'll do instead is we'll try to be uh, sneaky rats because we are rats after all and he's gonna go here and ambush there okay then Bob so mr. leader Bob we know they're going to have a group at the cart. This is going to be the hardest group to kind of, because these guys can just go straight up there and get together with them. Um, this group, however, are maybe going to have a slightly harder time with. But it depends exactly where we're able to go from here. So um, let's turn around and try to go the other way. Let's go that way and then over here. Oh, beautiful. Yep, I meant to do that. Okay, so we've seen someone. So where ha exactly have we seen them? Okay, so we've seen their group at the cart. Okay. So they have two. Okay, so I'm trying to see who else is at the cart. Okay, so we've got. They got the leader there. They've got um it looks like three heroes. Yeah, three heroes and a henchman. So they've actually got us outgunned there. Okay, so in terms of his movement, um it's probably gonna make sense then if he comes as far over here as he can. And then um let's have him gather that. Okay. And then let's have him ambush here. So we're trying to um, make the most of the fact that we are scaven, so we've got um, better movement than them. So because of that, I'm trying to get my guys together before he can get all of his guys together. Okay, now 
uh, Mondays, you're gonna head in this direction. Do you want to leave there? No, not really. Okay, so let's just keep going here. So you're gonna go here, and the reason he's gone here is because we know the leader, our leader, is just around the corner there. We can almost see him as well. Um, then, okay, you guys, you come around this way, yeah, and then keep on going. Um, he's gonna ambush um, here. Because we don't, we still don't know exactly what they're gonna do. Now you're gonna go get that cluster because um, it's a cluster. Now when I do the PvP matches, I probably won't go after any wordstone. So it's best to get as much wordstone as I can in these matches. And you're gonna come. So what I don't want to do is to make it easy for them to shoot me from range. So I think here, although he's kind of blocking the others, I think there's where he has to go. And the reason why I'm not going to be going after Wordstone um, in the PvP matches, you know, unless it's right in my way, is because um, as I'm expecting, now the guys who I'm going against, I'm an okay player, maybe a good player, some might say, but uh, that's kind of the, the limit of my ability. Whereas, oh, nice miss there, thank you. Whereas the guys that um, are in the, the other guys that are in this league are basically from very good to absolutely amazing at the game. So I'm probably out of the 12 people in the tournament, probably the weakest player in the tournament. Uh, so I've no illusions of, you know, pulling off some kind of amazing um, victory or anything like that. I think that, um, you know, I'll be lucky to get a win. If I get a win, um, that would be absolutely amazing for me. Um, but, yeah, let's see. oh, don't go there. Would be my advice to you. But yeah, so um, my kind of, my kind of ambition for the league is to um, basically to try and get a win, get one win, that's it. Um, nothing more than just a one win. And I'd be very happy with um, with getting that one win. Can I really go for a word stone, as they say? Okay, let's gather that. Yeah, so if I, I can get myself um, just one win, I'd be absolutely delighted with it and um, so my first my first um, goal in when the PvP starts will first of all to be able to put some um, one of their one of the enemies out of action that's basically the first thing that I want to achieve okay so um, hopefully I achieve that in my first match but with some of these guys um, that are going to be against you know, um, it might be pretty difficult to do that. But if I, if I can achieve that, I'll be very happy. Now, you're going to... So don't ambush someone right in the door. So come maybe... Maybe that will limit where you go. Yeah, do that. Okay. So like some of these guys are going to be absolutely amazing that I'm going to be facing against. So um, as I said, first... First objective is just to be able to put one of their guys out of action. And then the uh, next objective then from that would be just to be able to... Let's do some poison on those guys. Oh, we can't quite reach, okay. Well, let's get a bit closer. And then... Okay, so we can poison him. And then if the leader decides to come in this direction... We can poison him after. Okay, and do I want to dodge? Uh, or do I want to run away? I think running away for the moment. Oh, but that doesn't get me very far. 
Okay. Well, then let's go back here and let's just dodge there. Okay. Now we're going to get some incoming um, on him, but hopefully the dodge will help him out. Yeah, so as, as I say, it's, it's really going to be kind of an underdog story for us. We we just want to be able to, um, to first of all, get a first kill, as in like put one, one of the enemy team down before they completely oblit obliterate us. The next thing then is to try and go for you know, to sneak one win. Uh, the way the tournament is, uh, the way the, the way it's structured is that there will be, are you better off maybe going around this way? I think you are. Yeah. Um, there will be uh, two pools. So there's two pools and in each pool, there is um, six people and we do a round robin so i'll have five matches and then after the five matches the um the guys in the top four slots in each pool will then go on to compete in um, a knockout stage so i i absolutely will not i'll tell you now okay um, just in case anyone is expecting anything else, I will not qualify for the knockout stage. There's no, um, you know, there's I no doubt in my mind about that. I will not qualify for any sort of knockout stage. Now, I want to get a charge on him, but I want to get it so that he doesn't take up too much space on the guy. So I think there would be good. Let's try that. So. Basically, the best that I can hope to do is to make um, the four people who do qualify work for their their win against me. Um, and then if by some miracle I make the uh, knockout stage, I'll be absolutely amazed. Um, but I'm, I'm basically planning that th this series will be um, five PvP matches. And then every time that um, I get beaten in a PvP match, I will then... Oh, we did some decent damage there. When when I get beaten in a PvP match, then I will have another PvE to do. Um, so it's probably going to be a total of um, 10, 10 episodes in this. 5 PvE and 5 PvP. Yeah, knew he was going to do that. Ooh, he could carry out straight away. Oh, look, he didn't have any more. Has started. Okay. So we have to look after Gary. That's the main objective for us right now. Okay. Now, you can come around here. And you know there's a guy there. But can you... Oh, we got... There we go. We can charge him. Let's uh, charge him. Because he's going to be an easy kind of guy, I think, to... Uh, sort out then don't parry dodge rats are all about dodging really aren't they okay then bob sort him out if you can okay unlucky with the miss and then uh, let's go for the dodge so we just need to drop one or, th or two of these guys here to start and then we're going to be okay okay so he's blinded his own guy as well he's taken up some wordstone hopefully he gets debuffed by that and hopefully that's a trap right in front of him there that would be brilliant if it was oh he went oh he actually went around the trap fair play to you okay so we need to get another guy in that fight because otherwise, um, two on one isn't a good look for us. Okay, he's far away, which is nice. So, oh, good miss there. And then blow up, if you wouldn't mind. Yes! <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, now, uh, Crow. Let's see, you're... 
Ah, you're um, just outside this fight here, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, so you're going to go and make the extra person that we need. Um, so charging, although we have a less lesser chance, we're using three red pills then. So let's try that. Hopefully we hit. Okay, he dodged us, which is unfortunate. And then we'll take our own dodge. But now it's two against two there. So it's, it's not too bad. Now, Monday. You can make your way around here. So the good thing now is that Bob is free, which is great for us. Um, and we could go on that guy there. But what I want to do is I want to um, tie down the leader instead. Yeah, I want to do this. Okay, dodge fail, which is nice. And then he lands his turn. So he will take some um, a bit of a beating from their leader. Now, Band-Aid, you're going to come around here. And you're going to help here. So first of all, um, grab this. Because every bit of worth zone is going to be very precious to us. And then pop on here on this guy. Because he's one that we can maybe focus on and get down pretty quickly. And then don't flee, just end your turn. Okay, now Bongo. Um, you're not too far away from the guys. Oh, it's this way. Okay. So pop out here. And you're closer to the leader. So maybe you can get a charge on him from here. Yes, you can. Okay, so take that. Okay, it's a miss, but what we're doing is we are um, encouraging him to spread his spread the love around, as it were, and attack more than the one person. And then Rat Trap is going to pop on here and attack you. Okay, great. And then he's going to dodge. Okay, now um, Gary, you can. Disengage. Very good. Then I want you to. Um, first of all, I want you. Uh oh, I want. I wanted you to do that. That was the first thing I wanted you to do. Next thing I want you to do is to try poison globe. Okay. Um, okay. There. It's good. Okay, and then, oh, there's a cluster there, look at that. So I want you to grab this cluster. Now, he is a little bit vulnerable there for anyone who comes around the corner. And then I want you to end your turn. Okay, that's a nice miss, thank you for that. And then you dodge, which is fine. Okay, now... Jerry, um, let's go for the attack on him. Nice hit. And then this could potentially uh, put him down. I like that um, like wolf head on that guy's cloak. It's really cool. And as I said before, the little details in this game are so well done. Okay, now Pete. You could go there or here. I think you're gonna go here because I want to um, I want to free up these guys as soon as possible. So thank you for that. And if you wouldn't mind looting him. Okay, so he has not really much, but we'll take what he does have. Okay. And then we loot, did we loot this guy already? I think we did. No, we didn't, but uh, we don't want that. Okay, let's leave that on him. Then you're going to, uh, you're actually going to go 
head back this way. Okay, and then I want you to ambush there just to protect the back of those guys, but you're going to go in and help there next turn. Now, they get their moves now. But we've done, we've done a decent amount of damage to them. Okay, so... That's fine. That's pretty much all he's going to do, I think. Yeah. Okay, he's come around there. Now, he did do a decent amount of damage to Bongo. Um, and Bongo will be in trouble now when the leader gets to go because the leader now is no longer going to face an all alone. But he is facing his poison test. Okay, now if he doesn't go for Bongo, we're okay. Oh, he missed. Okay, that's great. So I think we can save Bongo. A new round has started. Okay, now, fingers. Okay, guys, dodge is gone, so he should go down this turn. Unless we miss here. No, we didn't. Okay, so he should be gone this turn. Then you're going to dodge. So I think we can get out of this without um, losing anybody, which would be absolutely perfect. Now, Bob could go and deal with that guy, but I don't really want him to. What I want Bob to do is to come around here and to come over here and steal the idol. Thank you. Okay, so now he has to get this back to our cart. So um, probably go back the way you came actually would be better. Just avoid the poison. Oh, but we got the gift of savagery anyway. And then he's gonna have to get poison, I think, by that one over there. Um, let's pop him here. We don't want to charge. Let's just ambush there, just in case someone else turns up and we have to deal with them. Okay, so as long as he doesn't kill anyone, we're okay. Ooh, maybe he will kill someone. Okay, he blinded everyone again. Okay, now Mondays. Let's um, get rid of this leader if we can. Ten isn't um, a great. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess dodge is all you can do, isn't it? Now we do need uh, more guys over here, but we do have um, people who can come over pretty soon. Now you can check him to see if he's on your wordstone, if you don't mind. Okay, no wordstone. Um, so we leave it because I know this guy here does have wordstone. So we'll be wanting to take your wordstone pretty soon. So three on one there is good. Um, Crow getting um, his ass kicked though is not so good. So he's just going to dodge. Okay, then here's a new guy coming in, but he didn't make it wherever he was hoping to make it to, which is great. Now, um, Rat Trap, let's charge this guy. Oh, thank you for that hit. And then you can dodge. And um, Bongo. You have to hit him because if he has a retaliation, he's probably going to kill you instead. Okay, but you you took him out, which is great. And then um, you can dodge there. And then we get another guy on there just to give that guy more, um, more people to aim at. Okay, now, um, you do have a shot, and I think you're actually going to aim it because that would do pretty good for us. Thank you for that. And then you can reload and then stand about here and end your turn. Okay, now Pete, um, you could help on either side, but I think the thing is now they're gonna 
they're probably going to test route before we can get their... Uh, well, they are going to test route before we can get their um, idle back to a cart, which is unfortunate. Um, but at the same time, um, there's nothing we can do about it. So we may as well kill whoever we can. Okay, that's excellent. And then you can dodge there. But a win and no losses would be excellent. So there we go. So they failed. Okay, so that's great for us. It's a good start. Um, the option, option objective obviously would have been um, really nice, but still, um, I'm pretty happy with how things were. Gary was our most valuable warrior, and um, you're probably going to see a lot of that with um, him being a poison wind globadier. Okay, and then let's click through. Brave, bold warband is sneaky strong. Fetch find much wordstone. Filch will squeak speak to murder lord. Tell him much, much. Warband climb sneak high far. <laughs> so we got one test for, um, just the one test for, um, injury. Hopefully we pass it. You see the difference though it makes that we didn't get the option objective. Like a lot of these guys would have had a point to spend. Okay, uh, permanent injuries, light wounds. So he's out for two days, which just means that we'll have to swap in um, someone else for the um, PvP match. Okay, Band-Aid did well. And Bongo as well. Well done to you. Okay, so um, let me spend my points. So overall, nothing amazing, but you'd never really expect anything amazing anyway. Um, so let's pay the warband treatment costs. And then the upkeep. Okay, and then um, let's start spending our points. So Bob doesn't have any. Um, Gary has one, so he's going to go for weapon skill. Um, actually, no. He's going to go for ballistic skill because he's going to be rocking his his guns, so it just makes sense. Okay, um, then nothing on fingers, nothing on Jerry. Pete is going to go for, let me think, um, I think agility, just for better dodginess. Crow doesn't have anything, he does Mondays, Band-Aid. Um, you're going to go for weapon skill, because the more often we hit, the better. And then um, Bongo, you're going to try to be... Hmm... You're going to try to be dodgier. But does that mean then I should maybe remove your shield? Maybe. I'll think about it. Okay. Then Rat Trap. Done. And then we're into the um, other guys. So um, let's take Crow out. And then we're going to pop in Diamond. Okay. There we go. I want to have a look at the shop. So there is um, some blue stuff here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy, but well, we don't want a staff and we don't want, maybe we want the shield. Um, we don't want the dagger. So what I'm going to do is when I see purple and blue stuff, I'm going to buy them. Um, if there's stuff that I think I would use and then um, I won't use them straight away because what will happen is someone will knock my guy out and then they'll just take it off them so uh, it won't be much good so instead what I'll do is I'll maybe keep them until the final mission um, like the, the final PvP and then maybe use them then just, just to give us a boost. So let's uh, move on a day. Has been requested. Okay, so we've got our new shipment. It should be, it's not only for 75 words on, isn't it, the first one? 
Yeah, 75 words. So we got over half of that. We've got 13 days left to um, do it. So I don't really think we're going to have a problem because we've got, um, when you think about it, we've got five um, PVP um, to, to do. We then, uh, so we're going to do like, probably in my case, going to be like PVP, PV, PVP, PV, blah, blah, like switching back and forth. So that's going to be another nine days um, until I get knocked out of the tournament. So we're not even going to get to the point where we have to make a first shipment anyway. So what I'm going to do now is um, sign off here. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're supporting, you'll support the um, the warband in the tournament and also support the tournament itself. And go check out some of this stuff by some of the other YouTubers are in as well. Um, I will put a link um, in the description to the, well, I have to ask um, Gay Knight if there's a link for people to view the tournament rather than the participants. And if there is, I'll put that down there. Um, and then what I'll also do is um, I'm going to ask the other YouTubers uh, that are in it to give me a link to their channel. And then I'll put a link to all of their things there. But the next one will be my first um, PvP versus um, BTW rant. So by the way, rant, uh, he will kick my ass. So don't be expecting anything else. But as I said, if if we can maybe get a small victory and put one of his guys out of action, then I'll be very happy about that. Okay, so that's it from me. If you um, you know if you're enjoying the videos, if you're enjoying the channel altogether, um, consider hitting the like button and sharing this with your friends and just get, you know, um, any, any shares that you can do and get more people viewing the channel is always great for me. But I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.